Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Anwar, also known as DJ Onward himself, and I do have an Instagram if you'd like to check it out. If not, that is totally cool. It's not the reason that we're here today, right, Sag? Today we're here to take a look into your recent past, your present, and see what you have coming in for you in the near future. I'm going to take a look into your past, your present, your future, and we're going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with and see what, uh, how they see you, how they feel about you, what they might not want you to know. Then we're going to go through all 12 signs. All right. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Keep in mind, not everything you hear is going to resonate. That's perfectly normal. Take what sounds like it belongs to you. Disregard the rest. It's simple. This is a collective reading, not specific to just one person. So take what's yours and let the other person have theirs. You might not want it anyway, right? All right. What's going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? What are the most important messages for Sagittarius to know? What's going on with Sagittarius? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. For the collective, with the intentions of bringing clarity to the person who is watching this. Cross watchers, you are welcome. However, keep in mind this is a Sagittarius reading. So, Sagittarius, how you doing? You look good. All right, what's going on with Sagittarius? Oh, I don't feel like that was a jumper. Sagittarius, what are the energies surrounding Sagittarius? What's going on with Sagittarius? Please bring me clear and accurate messages for Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius? All right, there it is. Let's look at the top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with the Cancer, somebody with Cancer in their charts. Doesn't have to be though. Chariot, Major Arcana, for Cancer. And uh, Chariot represents for motion, or it could be travel. So you could be traveling somewhere, you could be traveling to go see someone, so it could be traveling, or there could be uh, distance, or it could just be going forward uh, confidently and uh, passionately. So starting off the spread, and there it is right there, Knight of Swords, travel, fast, going somewhere really fast. You could be uh, taking some type of fast action. You could be going back somewhere too, being that the Knight of Swords is facing going that way which is towards the past it could be going towards something towards the past it doesn't have to be though but um, i do some type of i do see some type of fast action some type of uh, fast travel taking fast action it's the fastest moving energy in the deck could be to communicate too also with that sword there swords represent uh, communication uh clarity somebody could be coming towards you somebody could be coming back towards you so we'll see where it goes crossing the spread we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is somebody getting out of their head. This is somebody freeing themselves, um, possibly releasing themselves from a situation. It could Somebody could even be even getting released from jail. Who knows? Be dealing with uh, that type of connection. But um, with the Eight of Swords in reverse, this is freeing yourself from a imprisonment that you've imposed yourself to. This is you keeping yourself in a situation. Nobody's keeping you there. This is you because you want to. This is your own free will. However, this is you using your free will to also free yourself. But it's coming in sideways, crossing the spread as a challenge. So there could be some type of obstacle. There could be some type of challenge or uh, a problem freeing yourself. Now, also with the swords, we have two swords here. Uh, uh, air energy, air element. This could also be in the head, so it could be getting out of your head or freeing your mind from something. We'll see. In the root of the matter, we have the three of pentacles. So in the root of the matter, the bottom line of it is collaboration, teamwork, working uh, good with somebody, being on the same page with somebody. Could literally be at work too, or somebody that you work with or do business with, because it is a work card, however, it doesn't have to be. Um, in the recent past, it looks like you were looking at something like, okay, is this even worth it? Is this worth my time? Where's this going? Should I invest in this? Should I put in my time and energy? You could have already put in a bunch of time and energy into a connection or into a situation. And uh, you started to feel like, okay, is this something that I want to continue to invest in? It's like looking at the bunch and having that one last pinnacle down there and say, like, is it even worth bending over and putting this up there? Like, where's this going? What is, this, what is the point of this? Is this a good investment? Conscious goals, Sagittarius. You just want to be happy. You could be dealing with the Leo or somebody with Leo on their charts. Very positive card. Most uh, positive card in the deck. It's yes. It represents yes. It represents uh, clarity, um, healing, growth, uh, 
uh, new opportunities. So it looks like you just overall, just uh, overall, you just want your happiness. You just want to be a, a abundant. You want um, um, everything positive. There's really no other way to say that. It's just um, your happiness, your happiness, and your uh, either it could even be your mental health seems to be your most important goal. That's your conscious goal right now. What's coming in for you that you're unaware of? You could have an Empress, Aries, or possibly even a Taurus, or somebody with those elements in their charge. You could have somebody coming towards you. This could also be a mother figure too. You could have a mother figure. It could be a baby mama. It could be somebody who has children, but whoever this person is, it's a nurturing type of um, person. It's somebody who's done the work on themselves. It's somebody who's, um, they're in their Empress energy. So this is somebody who's, uh, they, they've got it together. They're, they're doing the damn thing. This is somebody who represents growth and uh, fertility. So it's definitely a, like a motherly, uh, a nurturing energy. It, it's, it's definitely somebody who's done their work. Justice for your uh, current energy. Justice could be dealing with the Libra, also Major Arcana. Could be dealing with the Libra or somebody with Libra in their charge, but it doesn't have to be. So it looks like um, right now you're trying to be fair. You got to keep things balanced. Now, if you are working with somebody here with Justice and the Three of Pentacles, um, I feel like you want to do things the fair way. You want to keep things balanced. I feel like I just said that. This is also writing wrong. So if there's something, if there's like, if there's a situation that needs justice, I feel like you've, you've either brought justice to it or you're bringing justice to it. You could be going back somewhere to bring justice to another situation. I don't feel like that's going to be for everyone, but you could be going back somewhere to bring justice. But whatever it is, it's happening fast. External to you, the person that you're dealing with. Influencing this spread. Four of Swords in reverse. So somebody could be wanting uh, to come off of a break if you're on a break with somebody. Or if somebody has fallen back. The Four of Swords in the upright. This is a fallback energy. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take a little break here. I'm going to hang up my swords. My phone's still on if you want to reach me, but I'm probably not going to be reaching out to you. Um, I'll deal with it another day. It's that type of energy like set things off postponing uh, let me think about things swords also representing the mind so uh somebody could be you know taking a break to think about things or fall back to think about things um in the reverse this is i've thought about it okay let's talk or it could just be coming off of a break if there was a break or space or distance uh, between you and somebody um they could be wanting to come back around and talk i feel like somebody's rushing back towards you Sagittarius, I feel like somebody's rushing back to try to work or to try to work on something with you or the three of pentacles. This is working well together. This is teamwork. So somebody could be rushing back to try to get on the same page and, and uh, maybe work something out. But whoever it is, it is it's definitely some a, a motherly. Now, if I'm talking to a female, uh, the Empress can also be, it, it's a feminine energy, so it, it doesn't have to be a male or female, um, but it's a feminine energy. It's a, it's a nurturing, motherly energy. It also could be you, depending on what uh, what side you're looking at it from or watching this reading from. Your hopes and fears, seven of wands in reverse. You could be hoping to give up on something or you could be fearing to give up on something, but whatever it is, it's like, it's it's... You could be hoping all, or fearing that you might have to defend yourself too. But it's the energy of like, I don't want to have to defend myself. What is this Knight of Swords for Sagittarius? Please give me clear and accurate messages. What is the Nine of Swords? Way too many cards. But there's that Emperor on top of a bunch of other cards, but the emperor fell out right on top of the empress like this. So this is a true pair. This is a, this is a good pair. These are the, the mother and father of tarot. Nobody is above them. 
However, they're in two different orientations. So like I was saying just a bit ago is that they're not on the same page or something's not equal here. Possibly why we have the three of pentacles here in the root of the matter here. This is getting on the same page. Working well together. Teamwork. Collaboration. Let me put these cards back. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Ooh, Knight of, uh, Knight of Swords. Clarified by the Tower. Scorpio energy. So, yeah, something's happening really fast, Sagittarius. I feel like this is going to come out of nowhere, but something's going to happen really fast. I feel like this is going to shock you, too. When this person comes back around, you're going to be shocked. When this person uh, uh, reaches out or whatever they're going to say, if they're going to bring you some type of truth or clarity. But whatever this Knight of Swords energy is that's rushing toward you, I feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to change things. It's going um, it, to come as a shock. It's going to be like a whoa, like an aha moment. like you have somebody like i don't know if you have kids with somebody or maybe they're coming back around or if uh an ex-wife or ex-husband I, I feel like they, i mean it's a feminine energy so doesn't have to be though it could just be somebody who embodies a feminine energy depending on who i'm talking to but um why is the Eight of Swords in reverse? The Eight of Swords in reverse, also clarif uh, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Could be dealing with another Sag, don't have to be, but... It's like something isn't changed. It's like the, the problem is, is that... Um, something just like, just something didn't work out or something's not working out. Well, the fortune in the upright would be positive change, but in the reverse, it's like there's no type of positive change, no significant change. Things are just staying the same. Why is the three of pinnacles in the root of the matter? Why is the three of pinnacles in the root of the matter? two all right i'll take them three of pinnacles clarified by the king of pinnacles in reverse and the five of swords in the upright <clears throat> so this could have something to do with the workplace or your work your business uh king of pinnacles taurus energy could be done with a taurus or somebody with taurus in the charts um somebody's concerned or somebody could be going through No, that's not what it is. This is a this is the father figure. This is a father figure here. This is it could be a baby dad. I feel like somebody is playing some type of game. Somebody's playing mind games. Somebody's being irresponsible or or has been acting irresponsibly. Whether it's with their finances or with the connection or with you. Somebody's being irresponsible. Which mind games is coming from that or vice versa. I don't want to confuse you. How does this person see uh, Sagittarius? Oh, wait. First, let's clarify this um, Four of Swords in reverse. Why is the Four of Swords in reverse here, please? Four of Swords in reverse, clarified by judgment in the upright. Somebody made a decision. Somebody made a decision about you, Sagittarius, and I feel like they want to um, possibly either want to open up and talk about it Somebody has been thinking about this, but they made it. They made a decision, and I feel like they want to talk. It could be a decision in regards to like reconnecting or reviving, bringing life back to uh, to a situation. I feel like it's going to shock you when this person comes in.
as somebody that you're on a break with or who has fallen back or if you've fallen back, but that fallback is about to come to an end and it's going to shock you when it does. This person could possibly tell you something that blows your mind. There could be a pregnancy here too for, for some of you. There could be a pregnancy. Doesn't don't, don't get scared now. Doesn't have to be for everybody, but there could be a pregnancy here. How does uh, this person see Sagittarius? How does this person see Sagittarius? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody who's um, they see you possibly as somebody who spends recklessly, or um, it could be having financial issues, or or irresponsible with your finances. You could be stuck financially, or stuck in a financial situation, stuck in an agreement, or a goal, or um, I forgot what I was going to say agreement or contract or something along those lines but um how's this person feel like or feel about Sagittarius how's this person feel about Sagittarius nine of Pentacles in reverse so this person feels like they uh I don't know if they just don't want to be by themselves. They don't be alone or they want to be like booed up by you or they want to be they want to be locked down by you. Somebody is feeling like they have it all, like everything. But one thing is missing. And I feel like that one thing that's missing is you, Sagittarius. And this is why they're rushing back. Somebody's been thinking about this and it's like something is missing. And that one thing that's missing, I feel like it's you, Sagittarius. There's a mutual energy. Damn. Oh, come on out. Mutual energy. Four of cups. This could be boredom, uh, being emotionally unfulfilled. Maybe you guys aren't fulfilling each other or maybe didn't fulfill each other in the past. It could be rejection too, or feeling uh, feeling rejected, feeling um, feeling unwanted. Maybe somebody's offering something that you're just not interested in or vice versa. How does Sagittarius see this person? How does Sagittarius see this person? Okay, clear and accurate messages. Um, magician. Gemini energy. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Doesn't have to be. So you see this person as possibly as somebody who can be manipulative too. Now, the magician in the reverse, he's more of a manipulator. But in the upright, it could be a manipulative energy, but not in a bad way. It's somebody who can manipulate energy, manipulate situations, get the best possible outcome. Using all the elements and tools that they have around them to be able to put something together. Um, to make things happen. It could be somebody who is spiritual. Um, somebody who, uh, who who is like, a, like an excellent manifester or somebody who is into the laws of attraction. So you could be seeing this person as somebody who... That's not strong enough. I, I mean, I'm feeling it, but I'm not feeling it strong enough to say. Clarify the magician. Clarify the magician, please. Clarify by the Six of Cups. So this is somebody that you have a history with, somebody, um, um, the soulmate energy. This could be a reconciliation. Somebody could be coming back around for reconciliation, Sagittarius. It's like they're trying to manifest this Sagittarius, uh, this, uh, Reconciliation. 
That could be how you're seeing it though, because this position is, is how you see this person. It doesn't mean that's necessarily how they are. That's your perspective of them. You could miss this person. You could think about this person often. Somebody that you have, somebody that you have uh, history with. How does Sagittarius feel about this person? So this person's been gone for um, a, a, a while. It could be three months, three years, three weeks, three days. I don't think it's three days. It doesn't have to be three. Excuse me. It doesn't have to be three at all, but we have the three of wands in reverse. So this is a sense of uh, no longer waiting. I'm not waiting around anymore. Tired of waiting. Again, freeing yourself. So you could have freed yourself from this person, got tired of waiting. Perhaps we got tired of waiting for this person to get on the same page with you to work well or work with you. It's like nothing ever changed with this person. There's no positive change. So you freed yourself. It's going to shock the shit out of you when this person comes around, Sagittarius. I keep looking at this tower and the Knight of Swords. What's the outcome? Clarify, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse for the outcome. Fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the Queen of Wands the outcome? Why is the Queen of Wands the outcome? That was crazy. See how that flipped? How that flipped over my hand? Just go whoop, like that. That's what came out. The Knight of Cups. Clarifying the Queen of Wands. Somebody's going to offer you your cup. Somebody's going to come back around Sagittarius and offer you their cup. This person is feeling not very confident. They don't feel very um, sure about themselves right now. For whatever reason, whatever they're going through, whatever they're doing, they're not feeling very confident about this. But they want to come back in and offer you their cup. They want to make you uh, some type of romantic offer. Um... Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Or Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Doesn't have to be any of those, but those are the, the elements of these two cards. So, somebody's going to come back around. Overall message to this is that somebody um, that you have a history with, possibly a parent to a child, or somebody that you had a relationship with, a marriage, but it's... Somebody's done the work. Somebody's done some work on themselves, and I feel like they want to come back around. It's possibly going to uh, shock the shit out of you when you see the work that they've done. I feel like this person that you were dealing with, uh, things just, you guys weren't on the same page. Um, um, so you freed yourself. Like, nothing was ever changing. Things were the same thing over and over. Thing, and, and it's like you freed yourself because you wanted to go towards your happiness. You do think about this person sometimes um, with the Six of Cups here. You think about this person from time to time. Possibly even about a reconciliation. But um yeah, they're gonna they're gonna come back around. So let's go through all 12 signs real quick. Let me get you up out of here. Ready shuffle this deck. Alright, if you're what are we doing? If you're doing it's dealing with an Aries. Dealing with it, that's crazy. Because in the last reading that I did, which was Aries, I had this same card. So if you're dealing with the Aries or somebody with the Aries in the chart, watch that reading. But I have the same card, the Six of Cups, sitting right here. And the very first card out was Six of Cups in, from a completely different deck. Six of Cups in reverse. So um, there could be a connection there. It doesn't have to be, but there could be one. So if you're dealing with the Aries, um, is the Aries there, they're not having the best thoughts memories um i don't see a reconciliation but this is somebody that you have history you have a past with you could have kids with this person too i see twins somebody has twins or somebody could be a twin doesn't have to be though um if you're dealing with the leo dealing with the leo the leo has fallen back they possibly could have gotten spooked by the connection but i do see somebody has fallen back somebody's taking a break from it if you're dealing with a sagittarius Sagittarius is 
either holding back or or holding on. I'm dealing with the Sagittarius. I feel like the Sagittarius. They could be letting go, like holding back to let go. Dealing with the Cancer. Cancer is holding on to a grudge. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the Pisces is going to be a victory between you and the Pisces. Something's going to work out. It's going to go. Uh, it's going to go as planned. It's going to. It's going to work out in you guys' favor. It's going to be a victory there. Um, if you're dealing with the Scorpio. Dealing with Scorpio, I see a father figure coming in. Somebody could be strict, a strict father figure. Somebody who's uh, really protective over the kids, looks out over the kids. But I do see somebody watching out over the kids if there's children involved. But um, I do see somebody is in charge. Somebody's taking charge. And I feel like it's it could be this father figure, or whoever this person is. It could literally be a father, your father. But dealing with the Virgo. Virgo is, um, they're not really sure. They're, 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 they're getting like inklings and they're getting hits and clues of what to do and which way to go, but they're really not sure. So they're avoiding going anywhere at all. I feel like the, the Virgo is staying put right where they are because they know they have to go one direction or the other and they're not sure which one they don't want to go the wrong way. So they're staying where they are. It's like they're sitting at a green light. They're, they're parked at a green light. They're just not going to go because they don't know which way to go. If you're dealing with the Taurus, Taurus could be giving you some type of small gift. It could even be uh, Starbucks. It could be something, um, something small, but it's going to be a big gesture to them. But I do see that they are going to be, there's going to be some type, it could be some positive news or something. They could be reaching out. But, um, yeah. Yeah. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn, um, they're, they're, they're going to go do something else. They're going to go do what they feel is best for them. It's hard and it's emotional for them. You know, if there's like passion between you guys, it's hard for them, but they feel like the best thing for them to do is go in another direction and leave behind whatever is here. Dealing with an Aquarius. Um, I see a, a, a toxic connection. There could be some obsessions. Somebody could be obsessing over something, obsessing over the connection. It could be addictions, drugs, alcohol. Pornography, it could be anything. If you're dealing with a, who is that, Aquarius? If you're dealing with a Gemini. <clears throat> if you're dealing with a Gemini, um, I don't see, I don't see things going forward. There's, there's some type of blockage, um, chariot in reverse. It's travel, so there, if there's distance, some there, there's no if there could be like travel plans being canceled or uh, delayed flights, unavailable Ubers or Lyfts. But um, I don't see that things are gonna go forward because of whatever this is, whatever this blockage is. If there's distance or whatever it is, is that it? Yeah, someone's not going to go towards, let's say if, if you're like, hey, uh, pull up, come to my house. Okay, I'll be there. Somebody's not really going to go or vice versa. But whatever it is, somebody's not, you guys aren't going to go. Does that make sense? I hope I didn't confuse you. And if you're dealing with a, who's was that? If you're dealing with the Libra, dealing with the Libra, the Libra has been stuck, but they are no longer stuck. Um, they're, they're, they're seeing things different. They possibly could have their eye on a different prize, but they're, um, uh, I was holding that in. I was trying to make it all the way through the damn reading without letting that yawn out, but it came out. But anyway, um, yeah, this person, they're seeing something differently and they are, um, they're, they're releasing themselves. They're freeing themselves from being stuck. 
stuck on whatever they were, whether they're stuck on you, stuck in the connection. Um, they're no longer stuck. They've 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 freed themselves. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Uh, let's talk about it in the comments. Let me know if there's your story, uh, how it's working out for you. And I will see you guys down in the comments section. All right. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.